Hello everyone, this is Mike, and welcome back to another Let's Play. Today I'm playing Cards and Castles Tournament of Champions. I want to thank the developers for giving me a beta copy of this game. And they also gave me a few beta keys to give out to you, the, um, the audience. So, if you want a beta key for this game, just leave a comment in the comment section below um, stating that you want a beta key. I have five to give out. And just make sure your um, YouTube account is connected to Google Plus so I can send you a direct message or a private message and I'll include the beta key in the private message. Um, just a note, the beta keys will stop working on September 18th when the game um, goes into like an early release. So if you want the beta key, um, just ask for it before September 18th and I'll be more than happy to send you one. Um, you know, first come, first serve. Uh, we have five to give out. So we're just going to jump into the scenarios really quick. We're going to pick our... Um, we have the p different groups over here. We have Vikings, Crusaders, Pirates, Warlocks, Ninjas. Go into Vikings. Was it, was it scenarios? Yep. Yeah. And here are the intros. I'll just do the introductions. Into the intro and we'll battle. Oh, so select a scenario. Okay. All right, introduction to battle. Uses a pre-made deck. And in the press release they sent me, they stated that the gameplay is very much like Hearthstone meets Final Fantasy Tactics. So, as you can see, they played a, um, a character over there. And it has two, two attack, three health. And I have a Lumberjack and Bear, which I can play right here. And I could move it now. I'm going to move him out to here. And I can end my turn. They'll move their character. And this is just a tutorial, but it's a little bit like, like I said, Final Fantasy Tactics meets Hearthstone. So choose a target for my unit to attack. So I'll move up, and we'll attack their character. Did three damage, so now I have three attack and two health, and I can play another Peasant Militia. Put them right there. We'll end the turn. Alright, they have a Shield Knight, which is one attack, seven health. So, n not a lot of damage, but a lot of, um, can take a lot of damage, but not get dish out a lot, a lot of damage. I have Battle Gear. Um, when you get later into the game, you see, um, it has three at the top. That's gold. It costs three gold to play the card. In the, um, tutorial, it just lets you, it basically will tell you what cards to play. So, the gold is kind of like mana in Hearthstone. So, Battle Gear, given a unit 2-2. Two, two. So, we'll buff him up. We'll now attack, and it's enough to defeat him, so we'll end the turn. They have an archer, and this is a ranged unit, so it can attack from a distance, dealing one damage. Alright, we have Guardian, which has a pierce attack, and it does, it's a 2-8. But I think we need to move this character first, so... Move that character there, play the Guardian there. We'll move him and attack. We'll then move him, and we'll end our turn. And basically, the castle is like is their help. So when you get the castle down to zero, uh, you win. So we have Cold Blast, deal three damage to a unit and push them back. But we have no enemy units to attack, so we'll just move. We'll move him. He'll attack. Move that character, and that character stays. Alright, we can use the Cold Blast on this Archer. Alright, that's going to kill my Lumberjack. But I'll play a Scout. And I'll also play a Cold Blast on that. That'll destroy that. Move it up, and we'll attack. Move that in. We'll attack with that, and move the Scout. Will end. And they have a warrior it has cleave and knockback. Cleave is like a um, AOE attack, and knockback, of course, just what it says, it knocks enemies back. So we have a shield knight, a 1 7. Play that. And we can win the game right now, we'll just attack their base. And victory. And like in Hearthstone, when you level up, you unlock cards. Um, you can also then buy packs of cards, 
and things like that. So we have a victory. Okay, this is a th and this castle has 15 health. So, all right. Here's where the gold comes in. You need gold to play cards. So right now I only have one gold, so I can only play a peasant militia. In this tutorial, I can place it anywhere. So we can place them here, and we'll move it, and we'll end the turn. So we need to wait until turn six to get this out. They have a thief, a two-two. You get two gold this turn, so we'll play lumberjack and bear. Move it to there. We'll move him, or maybe that's a, a her. We'll move her. I mean, and we'll attack. And it will end. All right, turn three, you get three gold, so I can play the scout. Move the scout up, move them up, and they'll attack the base. He'll also move, and we'll end our turn. All right, they have a wizard. It's a 2-2, and it's ranged, so it killed our um, peasant. Now I can play my guardian, which is 2-8. Alright, we'll do a double attack on the base with him and him. Alright, they played a scout as well. Alright, they took out the they took out the um the lumberjack. But we have called to war, give all your units one attack and one health, so we do that. Swing for four on that. We'll move him into position. We'll end our turn. All right, they have the headless guardian. It has pierce and charge. All right, they knocked each other out. All right, play my swordsman. We'll move him. We'll move up and we'll attack. And I believe what Pierce does is, if there's two units next to each other, or like behind each other, Pierce will do damage to both units. So you're, you're essentially stabbing them through and stabbing the guy behind them, which is pretty cool. Next tutorial, beware of explosive burdenation. I have battle gear and a peasant militia. And we can see what this guy does by clicking him. He's a pyromancer, he has explosive three, deals damages all enemies near the target. Alright, so we'll play our militia. Right, there's the... Alright, that took that out pretty quick, so it probably wasn't a good idea to move that character right there. Lumberjack and Bear. Alright. And next turn we'll probably battle gear him. I'll take three. Nope. Was in range of the archer. So we have three mana. Can't do anything. Not mana, gold, I should say. Sorry. Three gold. All right, I'll be able to get my guardian out next turn. Or I can do a soulless lantern. We'll do the guardian. Took him out. We'll end the turn. And then we'll slowly move him up to attack the archer. They played a scout. Alright, I'm gonna battle gear, I believe. Burn does three damage. Alright, he took three. Alright, we're gonna battle gear him. And we're gonna soulless lantern on this. Alright, so I have a 3-2 and a 4-7 against a 1-2 and a 3-4. However, Archer is ranged. Alright, another Pyromancer. Alright, the Scout is taken out. Alright. I can tell you a 6, I can do a Wizard, we'll do that. Because he, he's ranged as well. And we'll shield knight right here. 
Move the Field Knight, move him, move him. And now we're closing in on their castle. They will trade, deals three damage, the wizard is out. Earth Knight or Swordsman? I'll do the Swordsman this turn. And then we'll Earth Knight next turn, because he's a 6-10. Sorcerer, which has backfire, deals one damage to yourself and for each attack. Okay. Well, Ice Blast. Move into a play. Take that out. Attack the castle. Alright, another Sorcerer. Alright, I have nine. We'll do an Earth Knight. Earth Knight is powerful, but it doesn't have that much movement. So, move him. Move this. We'll swing. Takes four damage. That thing's pretty powerful. It's a six-two. So that'll work that out. This is ranged. He's there. Storm strike. Give lightning chain a built chain. I think it just chains stuff together. All right. We'll do the headless guardian, and we will also storm strike on that. And that's the cleave ability, how it did an AoE. It took out the, the Lumberjack, and it also did damage to the castle. Move this. Move this. Alright, we put out another wizard. Play an archer. Alright, I think Pierce... So we did damage to the castle and him. We can't attack with that yet, but we'll end turn. Alright, deal two damage to all enemies. Deals five damage. Alright, that was a, a board clear right there. However, I have another Earth Knight. Move him forward. Alright, the wizard is out. Has a militia. Right, another scout. Alright, I'll take two. I'll be down to a 6 8, which is still pretty good. Okay, we'll give them a plus one plus one. Have that attack. He's just down to his wizard now. Three damage to everything, alright. Or was it just one? May have just been one unit. Alright, Headless Guardian. Charge here. And we'll be able to pierce as well. So, there we go. Pierce through him and got to the base. Alright, we'll go back to the menu for a second. And just show you like the deck building tools and things like that. Take that as a defeat, but we'll go back. They also have a shop where you can buy cards. I have 575 uh, points, and it costs 300 for a booster pack. You can also, I looks like um, silver points, you buy with uh, real currency if you want. So there's silver and card points. So some packs you get to buy use silver, and some packs like this one you can just use. Um, what is this? Gold. Or not gold, but, um, card points. So we're gonna open a booster pack for 300. Open your packs from the open packs screen, okay. Kind of like Hearthstone. Alright. Let's see what we have here. We have a smithy. Support unit gives an ally plus one attack this turn, okay. A wind weapon gives a unit plus one attack, plus one health, and knock back one. Does send enemies back one square. We have an incinerate, deal 5 damage to a unit or building. A library, draw an extra card at the start of every other turn. Pretty cool. And the rare is a barbarian, it has double strike. 
All right, we're gonna go to let's see where we are. Test deck. Let me see, check check my decks here. Create a new deck. And as you play, you unlock the different factions. So I have the Vikings and the Crusaders. So we'll just do this with the Vikings. We'll continue. And here's my card. So I'm gonna add probably a couple archers. Couple peasant militias. Shaman are really nice because um, they can't attack, but they can heal. So um, I'll take a couple of those. Soulless lanterns. Vortex deal two damage to a, um, a unit and pull it back two spaces. We also have Cold Blast, three damage to a unit and push them two spaces towards the enemy side. So basically push them back. So we'll take two of those. Lumberjack and Bear is pretty good. I think we only need one Shield Knight. Let's see. Storm Strikes give a unit lightning. Attacks do um, chain together. Do that. Give a unit 1 1 and knockback. Okay. Couple of those. Plus 1, plus 1. Couple wizards. Couple scouts. The guardian is good, but I'm going to go with. Where's the headless guardian? I need some swordsmen. And I have two more cards. So if I can hearthstone, you have a deck of 30. Earth Knight. Six tens. Be able to do one barbarian and one earth knight. And I think that's thirty, right? Yep, thirty cards. Call this test deck. All right, enter. We'll go back. Test deck. All right, we can set our castle. I think right now I only have. Oh, set castle. There we go. I only have the standard blue, so we'll use that. Go back. We'll do a practice game, test deck, and we'll battle. And again, like Hearthstone, when you draw your opening hand, you can choose what to keep and what to get rid of. I'm going to keep the Lumberjack, and I'll probably keep the Scout also, get rid of the Guardian. Hopefully I get a one, okay, a two, and a two, and two threes. All right, so next turn, we'll play a Lumberjack. They played a Smithy. All right, I drew a Peasant Militia. Move the Lumberjack out. And again, like I mentioned earlier, I do have five Beta Keys to give away. So if you do want a Beta Key, just leave a comment and make sure you have um, your account linked into like a Google Plus profile so I can send you a direct message and in that direct message I will send you um, the Steam beta code and again these codes only work until the 18th of September when the game actually comes out or at the early release so I can attack him I'm not gonna do much damage because he's got seven but do I have any any buffs right now I don't but I can actually play the wizard we'll play hit play the wizard move him we'll attack I took one, he took um, he took three, it looks like. So he's down to a 1-4, end of turn. Alright, they got ranged, a ranged ability out now. So he's going to be able to do two damage to that, then I'll kill it. That got taken out as well, so I have a Guardian, two Peasant Militias, yeah, let's just do two peasant militias out. Kind of create some defense here. Um, I have two coins, but I can't do anything else. I do need to watch out for their archers. Their archers are ranged, so... Alright. That's going to kill one of my creatures, and it's going to knock back. That'll only do one damage. I'll be able to trade with that. Um, Shield Knight. Let's see. No, I'm not going to battle gear on that. I'll battle gear on him in a little bit. Move the unit. Alright. Alright, move the scout forward. We'll end our turn. Alright, a Might of the Minotaur. Five attack and knockback. Alright, the thing about Maya the Minotaur on those is I'll be able to take him out pretty easily because I have three attacks still. 
So, kind of a wasteful um, on the AI's part. Kind of a waste, but I'll buff him up. 5-3. Move it up one and attack. Drop a Lumberjack. Alright. We have nothing else we can do. The Smithy. I need to get rid of the Smithy pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is try to go after a Lumberjack. Or the Smithy with a Lumberjack. Go after this Archer with that. Alright. Barbarian. We got our Double Striker out. Attack that. Attack the Smithy. He still has a Raised Wizard, but I do have one more creature that he does out right now. We'll end our turn. He's been taken out. Alright, we have, we have a 111 out there. Let's play a Shaman, just to get some healing action in here. They can't attack, but they can heal. And we can play our Earth Knight, we'll do that. Alright. And he has Double Strike, so attack again. worried about a 1-1, one, one, so I'll take out the wizard. Anybody else I can move? I can move the shaman. But like I said, I'm gonna tr and I get to, when I get the shaman in range, I can heal him. I can technically heal him, but there's no point really. But he got healed. And turn. Alright, he is a barbarian as well. Alright, that got taken out. The barbarians will um, kill each other. Scout kill each other, okay. I have nine. I can play two guardians, so we're gonna move our knight, move our shaman, move him, and play our second guardian up here, and move him out. Nothing to heal right now. Alright, they have a sniper, and a giant great cleave. Alright, the healer is done. But let's see, we have our swordsman with cleave. Move him up. Get rid of his ranged ability. Come up here, attack this guy. Come down here, he'll attack this. And he's already moved. We have still have four gold, but nothing to play. Let's end that. They got a shield knight. 1 7. Alright. And I'll play a shield knight also. He's got 5. Let's attack this guy. Take that out. Move him into range. Move him into range. Move him into range. He can't attack because there's nothing in range of him. But we will start chipping away on the castle. Alright, the wizard took out my um, thing, but we have an archer now. We also have this guy. Move the archer. Move him up one, and he will attack. Attack for six on that. Do some damage to him, and I think that's our turn, so end. Alright, another sniper. Unit suffers minus two attack each time if hit strikes an enemy. Alright, wizard. Alright, I'll be able to do some cleave damage here to take out the sniper, and we'll also do damage to the castle. Or, in theory, we should anyway. Let's see. Yep, four damage. Six damage. He's not in range, he's not in range, and the wizard is not in range yet either. Or the ghost wizard, I mean. Right, got him down to ten. They have a guardian that has pierce. Alright, that took out the archer. Alright, we'll battle gear. 
And this should be game right here. Swing for six. And six. Alright, level up. And you earn new cards when you reach certain levels. So I got ten um, card points. Nothing new to unlock yet. They also feature a draft mode. You have one free entry, kind of like Hearthstone, and you um, pay points or coins to get in. Build a deck of random cards and do battle against other players. Let's take a look at the draft mode. Pick a faction. All right, hit an achievement. Start a draft. So you earn 200 points for doing a draft. We're going to go with the Crusaders on this one. Pick your second faction. I'll do Vikings. And we pick a card. So it's very similar to Hearthstone. You have three cards, and you pick one. I have a Cloak of Ice. Give a friendly unit. At the start of your turn, deals two damage to nearby enemies and inflicts negative two movement. Units gain plus one health and regeneration. Hmm. Brewery sounds pretty good. And we have Smithy. We're going to go... Health regeneration sounds good. We're going to go with the Brewery. Next up, I have a Cold Geyser. Place an enemy base, deals one damage to everything nearby it, and inflicts one negative movement for one turn. Library, draw an extra card to the start of every other turn. And a Legionnaire. A 610 for 8 gold. Pierce attack, strikes multiple enemies in a line. Yep, that's what I said earlier. Pierce does that. That's a little costly. I'm going to go with the Library. Let's see, a Cloak of Retribution, deal 3 damage to enemies who attack the target unit. So it's like a deterrent to attack it. A Flash of Light, deals 3 damage to enemies and 3 healing to one of your units. And a Cloak of Ice. Alright, Pillar of Annoyance, place this building in the enemy base where it will be annoying opponent, draw a card, a Smithy, and a Circle of Domination. 5 attack this turn, draw a card, give a unit ally, 1 attack this turn. Go with Smithy. Alright, Triple Strike. Give a unit two more attacks this turn. Cost seven. A Stalker. A 6 5. Cannot be the target of enemy ranged attack or spells. Stealth is removed on attack. Similar to Stealth in Hearthstone, it looks like. And Ice Weapon. Give a unit plus one attack, plus one health, and on hit, inflicts negative two movement. Try that. Alright, the Epics. We have an Ice Weaver. A 2-3 on hit and inflicts negative 2 movement. Sheep of the Slaughter, discard a card, give a unit plus 6 attack this turn. And put all enemies 2 spaces towards your side. And for this turn, whenever the target slays an enemy, it may move and attack again. This cannot be more than 3 times in a turn. That's 6, 4, and 4. I don't want to be really pulling close to my thing, so... Go with the Ice Weaver. Alright, the Legionnaire, Shield Knight, and Lumberjack. Take the Lumberjack. We have an Armory. Your, your units gain one attack and one health. That's pretty good. Temple of Ice. I'm going to go with the Armory. Alright, we have a Cleric. On hit nearby enemy units temporarily gain two health. That's a five cost. Power of Forbidden Knowledge. One of you draw a card to get one damage to everything. Imagine that means my stuff as well, but... Um, and... Brinjolf's Blessing. For his turn, whenever a target unit slays an enemy, it may move and attack again. Oh, I've already seen that. I'll take the Cleric. Let's see. Will of the Martyr. Give a friendly unit. One slain, all your other units gain two attack and two health. Sheep and Battle Training. Discard a card, your units gain two attack and two health. Yep. That's a good one. What are you at? 10 to 30. We have a Courthouse. Your units gain initiative, two. Gain bonus attack for... Uh, one turn, one played. Cold Geyser and Winds of the North. Push all enemies two spaces towards the enemy side. Soulless Lantern, Jack and Bear, and Archer. I don't think we have any archers in here. We have an Avalanche. Deal two damage to a building or a unit and drag it two spaces. We have Purge. Remove all status effects from a unit. And Tower of Ice. Try Avalanche. We have a Treant. 3-7 uh, for 3. That's pretty good. And Sniper. Yeah, we'll go with Treant. Um, a Frost Strike. For this turn, you have a unit plus 2 attack, and on hit, it inflicts negative 2 movement. An Aura of Divinity. Give a unit regeneration and draw a card, or Flash of Might. Deal 3 damage to enemies, and 3 healing to allies. Try that one. Triple Strike. Lay on hands. Focus, you must have an exact 
have a unit next to this spell's target, give that unit 9 health. Quest for Knowledge, um, give a unit on hit, draw a card. A Bold Faith, your units temporarily gain 3 health. A Priest Support gives an ally 2 health temporarily. Probably going with that. We have the Priest, we have two of them. Armory, Brewery, or Swift Justice. Zero. Prevent a friendly unit from attacking for one turn. Deal four damage to enemies who attack the unit. Yeah, that's a pretty good deterrent to attack, so I think I'll grab that. We already have the brewery and the other thing in the deck. Might of the Minotaur, give a unit five attack and knockback. I think I'm going with that. Deal seven damage to an enemy target for each unit you have next to the target. That's really um, dependent on board position, so I'm going to go with Might of the Minotaur. We have a Frost Strike. Um, sharpened Blades or Flash of Might, give a unit to attack and draw, okay. Wings of the Valkyrie, pull a friendly unit two spaces towards your side of the field and draw a card. Unit to attack, two attack is good. Barbarian, double strike, he played pretty well the last game with him. This warrior has cleave and knockback, or a swordsman with cleave as well. So, 3-3, three, three, or a 4-9 for 6. Try him. Alright, Blizzard deals 2 damage to all enemies and inflicts negative 2 movement. Another Treant or Holy Purpose. Give a friendly unit 7 health and regeneration, but it cannot attack. If you have like a Shaman, that would be... I haven't seen any Shaman, so we're probably going to go with... Go with Treant again. Alright, Scout, Warrior, or Paladin. On hit, units are healed for one. Take the Paladin. Pillar of Annoyance, the Brewery, or Shockwaves. Blast everything around a friendly unit four spaces away and deals one damage. Or the Brewery, your units gain one health and regeneration. I think we already have a Brewery, so we'll try Shockwave. Alright. Wizard, Swordsman, or Mercenary. Upkeep one, you must pay one gold at the start of your turn. Similar to Overload, I guess, in um, in Hearthstone, and also Upkeep and Magic, the Gathering. But we're going to go with the Swordsman anyway. Alright. Leg looks like these are Legendaries. We have Lionel the Arbiter, a 412. Deal lethal damage to any damaged minion. Essentially, it's Death Touch. That's looking pretty good. We have Gun Gear, Spear of Odin. Give melee unit piercing attacks, striking an additional enemy behind their target. They also gain 3-3. Three, three. That's five, that's seven, and we have Craxus the Undefeated. Discard a card to play this unit and has charge. I do like that essentially this has Death Touch, so we'll take that. A Guardian, an Earth Knight, or a Mercenary. Take some Pierce from him. Alright, Ice Weapon, Cloak of the Journey, or Lightning Bolts. Three damage to a unit and draw. Give a unit, give a unit heal one per tile moved and draw a card. Hmm, Cloak of the Journey sounds pretty good, we're going to take that. Deck complete, let's enter. And we'll see if we find any matches here. Alright, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna actually gonna keep this hand. I don't have any one drops right now, but that's um, that's fine. And I believe I'm playing against another player, so just enter. Alright, they have a soulless lantern out. I will drop my lumberjack. Move him up, we'll end. And I'm thinking next turn, we'll either give him sharpened blades, or we'll drop a tree in. Oh, he, he's going right to the face, or to the uh, castle, it looks like, with that. He's got a vampire to heal. Alright, damage him. Two attack and draw a sword. What's this? Give your units play a brewery. It's another building. So he's a 3-2 now. I have one coin, but I can't do anything. So he's going to bring his vampire up, probably. Or right, we'll see what he does. Alright, naturalized. Deals 5 damage to a building. Alright, so they destroyed my brewery and the, the creature. Can't play the barbarian yet. Can't play that. We'll play the tree yet. A 3-7. that forward. Alright. 
Cloak of Justice, 3 health, and it seems like it gains 2 attack. I have 5 now. Enemy. Hmm. Buff that up with Ice Weapon. He became a 4-4, four, four. I have a 4-6. Nothing left to play. And I suppose I could just actually rush at his base as well. I'm probably going to try to take out the... What's this? Play in front of the one attack and one health. Alright, he's a 5-7. Double strike on him. That's a 4 8. I have a 4 6. Move that forward. Gonna try to go after his base now. He's got a 4 8. So, looks like a shovel looking thing. Man, this is the first match I've actually played against uh, human opponents. So, you can play against AI, you can play against other people. Oh, he's got a swordsman. Do four damage. With cleave. All right, they took that out. Can I take anything out with flash of light? I have what's this? Flash of light deals three damage or something. I don't have any creatures, but we'll flash of light on. Okay, can't play that because I don't have any other. But I, I can now play it, I think, right? Healed my building. And he's more of a defensive unit because I don't want him. He only has. He can't attack, I don't think. Medal of Bravery. Gain one gold. Legionnaire. Let's see if he moves his knight up. Moves his knight forward. It might not be in range. What's courthouse? Gain initiative. Bonus attack for one turn when played. All right. I don't think that's, that's going to be useless on a priest because I don't think it can attack. All right. We have smithy. But Smithy is... You know, he's a support unit as well. I think I just wasted that. Maya the Minotaur. Nope, that's not going to work. Play Courthouse. Nope, I'm not very good at the uh, the drafting things. Even in Hearthstone, I, I'm terrible at Arena, so... I'll probably just stick with Constructed Play, but... Um, you know, if you do like the Arena in Hearthstone, this is... It's basically the same thing. It's still pretty fun. You know, draft cards and try to build the best deck that you can. So he's got 8 out, 8, 10. Well, actually, he just changed that, so... 14, 18. Cleave on all that, which is a... You know, this knight is really a good card. Cleave is a really great ability in this game. And I only have one left. He's going to swing... that. I should have smithied him to begin with, but... And an Aura of Divinity. Can I play that? Nope, I don't have any gold left. Alright. Flash, flash Grenade. I'm um, still leveled up with my Crusaders, though. All right, and I unlock some cards. Some Mighty Retribution. Give the unit double damage when retaliating. Uh, loss there. And you get a reward after completing all the drafts. Or all the battles in that mode. And you, know, you have your card collection, so I have... 
You can check your decks or you can check your cards. And then you have all these sorting options here as well. So you see you have Smithy, Coal Blast, Storm Strikes, Wind Weapons, some Battle Gears. And this shows you all the cards in the game. So there's Cloak of Ice, uh, Burst of Strength, which they have that one that's a, I think that's a foil. Or you can just set it to your cards, and I think you can set it by faction as well. So in, in the Crusaders faction, I just got the Mighty Retribution card. And you can disenchant these like in Hearthstone as well. So I have Heal, there's also Cloak of the Journey, and Library. Don't have any Pirates cards, but I do have a few cards from, um, what faction is this? Not sure. But Sacrifice a Unit, deal 4 damage to an enemy castle. Deal 3 damage to an enemy unit and all nearby enemies. 5 damage to a unit or building with Incinerate. And there's Fire Whirl for 4. Deal 4 damage to all enemies near a friendly unit. Some nice little AoE spell. So if I disenchant it, I get 5 um, material, I guess. And it costs 40 to make one of these. Have that. And here is... Is this just general? There's the Archer, the Peasant Militia, the Shaman. All the cards I played from the um, tutorial levels. So again, I want to thank the developers for giving me uh, this beta copy. Again, if you want to, if you want a chance to play the beta before it comes out, um, leave a comment in the comment section. I'm going to take the first five comments because I have five keys to give away. Uh, five, first five people to comment will um, get the beta key. They're good until September 18th. And uh, like I said earlier, just make sure you're um, you have a way so I can um, send you a direct message through YouTube. I believe you just have to have your account link through Google Plus, and then I'll be able to send you a private message with that beta key. Again, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.